everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with another episode of Breakout. Man, I've been having a great time. We have been getting all kinds of resources in between episodes. So I've started to break the strainers here because we have fully used up some of these solid strainers. And I went ahead and outfitted just about the entire place. Uh, the only places I got two now, I got two of these, what are they, fisherman strainers? Yeah, because I get so many worms from the other ones that I wanted to use them up, and plus they give me magic books, so that's pretty cool. Uh, up here, second floor, I filled it in with my beautiful stone bricks, because those are required, and I doubled up the number of bonsai pots that we had. It just made it easier to come up here and just go whack, 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 whack with the axe and get 18 pots at once. I mean, it's not that expensive. We are rolling in the, uh, in the clay. Down here, uh, so I went ahead and I automated all of these dudes. So we got all kinds of stuff. Like I got 12 of these crates going on. And I think it's this crate here. Yeah, I got lots of books. Like some of the stuff is real good. Yeah, unbreaking and XP boost. That one's real nice. I can't wait for that. Uh, holding, fire protection, silk touch, and efficiency four. Like, ooh, there's sieve efficiency. So we got good stuff going on there. Uh, what else changed? Let's see. I made a garbage bin, and I upgraded the cobblestone generator just because it said so in the uh, quest book. Like, we're not hurting on cobblestone. Uh, I have ground down some more stuff, and dude, that is the thing I want to fix today. I'm tired of punching that handle right there. I did make this iron furnace. So, you know, this was a crafting ingredient for uh, this guy over here, and I wanted to try it, and it's better than a regular furnace. More output slots, it goes faster, and it uses less fuel. So definitely worthwhile. Uh, let's see. And then I got ourselves a couple of friends over here. So I managed to get two cows and two chickens to spawn. And that was pretty difficult. Like I was laying stuff over here. And by the time I had the third one, the fourth one didn't want to spawn. So we ended up making and taking down a grassy area upstairs and then pushing them down here. So generally I'm breeding them together and then I'm killing one of them. And so we can get things like uh, beef and leather and feathers and stuff like that. And then over here, uh, I converted the obsidian maker into a nether rack and endstone maker, and I tripled up the power. So I'm actually going to turn this off for the episode. Uh, so nether rack is and fire is times four for melting. And I don't think I can access anything faster. So let's see. Uh, crucible right here, right there. So fire is four, and the next one is pyrothium. And that'll be a little bit until we get to pyrothium. All right, so priorities of the day today is to stop pounding this thing. I'd like to see if I can go in that direction, and I want to make myself a couple of things. So one of the first things, uh, let's see if we can get this, is a factorizer. Can I get you? Like, no, I can't because i got to make a gear working die, and we need a compactor, and to get compactor, we need bronze. To get bronze, I need bronze blend, which is tin and copper. Well, guess what? I saw that coming, and I'm actually going to make a couple of things here. So I got those. I feel like I'm missing one more. Yeah, right there. So let's go ahead and make this. This is uh, three of you dudes, and then tin right there, and that makes me bronze blend. Was that the quest? What was the quest? Let's take a look here. Uh, right here, alloys, bronze blend, and invar blend. Well, I can do that. I can absolutely do that because I saw this coming, so I ground some down. Ding -a ling. Uh, ding, ding, ding. There we go. Okay, got it. And that gives me a level of experience. And I'm assuming it's telling me to make some bronze tools. I really don't want to. I really don't. Uh, hold on. Let's look here. So bronze pick has a hardened mining level. And you're hardened as well. So, eh, but it's 144 and that's 72. Okay, so it's double on my pick. And the axe is 325. And I've been using the surge course axe. Okay, all right. I guess it's okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get the bronze in here first and let that dude smelt up. Like, that's not super fast. So we're going to need this uh, gear working die. I'm going to need this guy. So I'm going to need some plates, which means I need a compactor, which means I need copper gears in the compactor. Wait, we got a problem here. How can you compact things without the gear working die? Well, I guess I just need lead plates. In a compactor, uh, we are stuck there. We're stuck. Oh, we're so stuck, right? Because I don't think I can make a pulverizer. I really want to. Yeah, copper gears, because this is the only possible way is to put them in a compactor that I can't build because we must, we must get this as a quest coming up. We must. 
All right. Well, that was worth a shot. Okay. We'll follow the book. I'll follow the book. Bronze axe, bronze pick. I was hoping to get ahead, but I cannot at the moment. All right. Right there. So let's see. There is my pick. Thank you. And oops. Didn't mean to move that one. There we go. There's my axe. Thank you. And ding, ding, ding. I'm so impatient about that. I'm super impatient. Okay. So let's see. I got this one and you know, I wanted to, I wanted to see what's holding us back. I meant to pick this one up. Oh, four basic drawers. Oh, thank you for making all of the drawers, right? I don't think there's anything on this one that's holding me back. And I was told to look at all the funny shaped ones. So right here, end stone and crushed end stone is holding me back. Okay. All right, cool. We can do this. We can do this. So let's get nine of these dudes. I know it said eight, but let's get nine, right? Go over here. Can I make compressed? Yeah, I can. I can make compressed stuff and I'll take this guy, right? And I think hopefully this makes compressed or uh, makes whatever. It makes uh, crushed. There we go. So that should have been something. I had both of those. Thank you. That gets me 12 more crushed. And then I'm assuming, uh, let's look at uses on this. I'm assuming that I can save you for glowstone and ender dust. Okay, so this is one way. This is one way. Uh, let's see. Let's swap these dudes out right now. And I'll go ahead and give you that. And, you know, I probably just need to grab just a little bit more tiny coal here just to keep it going. Right? And we'll go ahead and let you do that. Okay, so this is going to give me access to a diamond. That's what that's going to do. Uh, okay, early game diamonds. So I needed to do that. And... I need eight nuggets and an ender dust. Okay, all right, we'll go ahead. This isn't the only way to make a diamond. I figured out the other ways, but uh, you know, we'll go with it. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of this stuff. Okay, cool. So let's see, let's, uh, well, I'll just do it by hand. Let's just do it by hand. There's a diamond, thank you very much. I've got the achievement diamonds. Nice, and I get a diamond. You know, I probably should read all of this, but if I want a pure large stone, I have to use a focusing crystal. Oh, focusing crystal, glue. What? Okay, cool. Yep. Done. <laughs> I'd like to say I read it. All right. So then this way, trying harder, an obsidian pickaxe. Uh, you know, I looked at this. I looked at this dude and this is big metal bar. So that's aluminum and invar. Okay. And then this is going to be, oh, I need three diamonds. I need three diamonds. Okay. Well, we can do that. We can do that. Right. Don't panic. So I can go this way and I'll take you. Do I have three more? Do I have three? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. That comes out like crazy in that stuff. So there's a whole bunch more diamonds and I need to get, I need to get that cooking up and I'll throw the rest of this stuff in there and uh, get rid of these drawers, man. I'm going to have too much stuff. That's actually a good thing. Okay. So let's get this pick, right? So I'm going to need one, two, three. I'm going to need I need uh, eight aluminum. Oh, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Oh, isn't that always the way? Isn't that always the way? All right, let's get here because I didn't really want to have to grind. No, nope, that's not the key I'm looking for. I didn't want to have to grind down a lot of this stuff if I didn't have to, right? But I'll go ahead and I'll get at least one more cooking up here. So let's see. Are you done? How about now? Yeah, you are. Okay, and I'll get this done. All right, so got those guys done. Let's go ahead and make this thing. So let's see, right here, I'm going to need... Oh, we're going to have to go back and get some obsidian. Okay, so I'm going to need... Let's just grab the pieces that we've got here. And we'll make three of these dudes. Yeah, I could make one more. No accidents. Oh, no, I want to go like that. Thank you. There we go. We got three. And then large rods. I can make two. And obsidian pick. Now, you have an industrial... You have the industrial mining level. So let's just take a little look here. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Ooh, look at that. It's polished obsidian behind. Dude, and this pickaxe is nice. Like, oh man. Okay, so I am clearly going to have to... Oh, we got... I got so much more room. Look at all this room. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, so I've got to do a lot more and we got to expand things. Awesome. All right, let's get you in here polished diorite nice okay so that took care of this one so then the other important quest is right here which is which which so this is making witch water and soul sand right so that should be pretty easy 
Uh, let's see. If I put a barrel of water close to mycelium made by using ancient spores on dirt. Okay. We got some of those somewhere. Uh, spores, spores, spores. Ooh, I only have two spores. I only have two spores, but, you know, I wonder if we can water them. Uh, let's get our barrel. Thank you. Oh, no. Where'd you go? Do I, oh, I got you. Okay. I thought you were in with the moo-moos. Right? So then I can get uh, water. Uh, buckets. Oh, got a bucket with water in it. And are you going to transform? Uh, kind of. Let's, uh, let's get our watering can and let's see what happens. Can I water mycelium around? Oh, yeah, I can. Holy cow, mycelium, go. Go, mycelium, go. Oh, and that's how we're going to get mushrooms. Thank you so much. Oh, man, mushroom factory. Okay, more water, please. And let's finish this off. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. Oh, man, this is good. I don't remember the return on mushrooms being this high, but I don't think I've ever harvested them like this either. Right, and there we go. So I'm pretty sure that only happens while this transforms. And then I think I'm going to need sand, and let's drop off our mushroom friends. Thank you. Throw that in there, that in there. Okay. So then I think it's sand, right? Salt, sand. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I need to get some more water in here, and we got to let this happen a bunch more times. Okay, so we're almost done with the last bucket right there. Okay, so I made a little extra, and thank you, Mushroom Boys. And so these guys, I've got to sift. I need to sift these, and so I can sieve them, right? I can sieve them. Oh, different things are going to give me different stuff. So diamond is going to give me nether quartz, so I'm going to have to automate this. But string is going to give me a mesh. And do you guys do compressed? Okay, you do. So... Let's do this. Let's get uh, let's get this right here, and I'll get my string mesh out. Should probably enchant it. Boy, that doesn't look like string, but it does. Okay. I should enchant it, but I don't think I will. So I'm hoping that you're going to give me exactly what I need. Okay, so going to have a little bit of a weird edit here. Uh, so right as I was sifting that other stuff, we had a internet outage and then a power outage. So this is actually uh, 24 hours later. So let's see if I can figure out where I was. I had made soul sand and I got myself a nether wart out of it. And I figured I might as well plant those and looking in the quest book. So I think I was headed in this direction. So I need a creeping doll and a witch water bucket, Uh, witch water bucket. You know, I would really like to move this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the uh, I need the rentation. Right. We'll probably have to set up a process here so I can sieve everything. But for the moment, for the moment, you can go right back over here and you can refill. All right. Right there. There we go. Right. That should have. Yeah, it's got stuff. OK, so which water uh, I'm going to need my. Oh, I got my bucket on me. All right. There we go. Ta-da. Got my bucket. And that should have. Well, it doesn't. But there we go. All right. So we're going to need this creeping doll. So let's take a look here. Creeping doll. So this is a porcelain doll. Ooh, and it's a diamond. It's a diamond. Ooh, expensive. Or an emerald. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's look. What does an emerald cost to do? An emerald is just nine emerald nuggets. And you know what? I got those right there. That's uh, that's pretty easy, right? Can I uh, can I compact you with K? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, creeping doll. Then what else do we need for a basic doll? So that gives me six, actually, and then I need five porcelain clay. So that's pretty easy, right? Right uh, over here somewhere. Yep, right there. So let's get these dudes together and bang. Thank you. And, you know, I really ought to put this bone meal somewhere where I can get to it better. How about right there? And let's see. Let's make our let's make these dudes right there. OK, and then to make them creeping is going to be. Four ink sacks, a redstone, and two glowstone. All right, let's see. I got ink sacks somewhere here. Uh, you're organic, so you come down here. Four ink sacks, two glowstone, and a redstone. And then I think it's also this nether wart that I've got in my inventory. So then, that's you. And I'm going to assume, yeah, drop in a barrel of witch water to spawn Enderman. Okay. And you know, I'm not really feeling good about this plan here. Uh, let's see if we can do a thing. Let's take this polished diorite. Yeah, let's take this polished diorite and let's make ourselves a safe zone. So let's come out like here-ish, maybe. Right, I can stand under this guy. And I should be able to stand back here. Uh, let's make it one more. 
I should be able to stand back here and then let's look at damage. So nine attack damage, nine attack damage, right? And we can just whack them with the ax. That sounds like a great plan. It's probably a very terrible plan, but let's go ahead and do it. So you are, oh yeah, you got to spawn up. Okay, so I got to wait for this guy. All right, here it comes. And Ender Dude. All right, Ender Dude. Man, I hope this works. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here where you cannot get me. And I'm just going to pound you with my axe. Oh, this was an amazing plan. It was a great plan. Whack! Thank you so much for the Ender Pearl. Nice. Stick you right in storage before something bad happens to you. Okay, so let's take those dudes away. And that should have been everything, right? So I get 12 more soul sand for that. And do you, you don't open another chapter. Ooh, automation kit. Oh, I get all kinds of drawer stuff. Well, I'll just take you. Thank you very much. We'll just take you and I'll put you in my technology area for the moment. Because we got a thing I need to go do. And then right over there. Okay. I think... I think uh, we could make a blaze guy, right? Like we could finish this out. This isn't that hard. What are you? Netherrack to crush netherrack, right? Like that's pretty easy. Actually, I could probably hammer that out. Do I have this? Yeah, let's just hammer it out here just because it's real fast. But then I want to go do a thing. So let's see. Somewhere in here, I've got one of those. So I'm hoping, boop, boop, just like that. And then we'll beat it with the uh, compressed hammer right there and right here right and that should be more than enough shouldn't that be more than enough oh crush netherrack right netherrack crush netherrack there we go done all right so that'll just give me a good one for later on to work on all right so somewhere behind here i think that there is a choice to be made let's uh let's just dig here a little bit uh are any of you lava i feel like i'm coming up to lava there i feel like there's a choice to be made here somewhere right i was hoping to be able to see more but it doesn't look like there's anything to do in any of the directions uh we got to look in the book here we got to look in the book because got this and i do want to make uh we did hopping bonsai right we did hopping bonsai i should get that all right i gotta fix that and i do ooh, ooh, ah a weirding gadget hold the phone hold the phone how would it take to get a weirding gadget gold an eye of ender oh yeah we're gonna do that okay but then there was this over here crossroads and so this looks like a thing right as i clear away the shiny white stone i seem to have arrived at a crossroads four windows and four walls relieve reveal glimpses of what's behind them they do well maybe they're higher up maybe they're higher up i just want to see up 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 there's the windows okay that's what i didn't know that's what I didn't know. Let's, uh, yeah, let's come up here and let's take a peek. So you are Batania. Okay. All right. So if you're Batania, then over here somewhere, right? Okay. If, uh, if I could jump over here. Yeah. Let's see. You are, ooh. oh, you're thermal. Ooh, 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 that hurts. Okay. Cause I really want to do thermal and then over here somewhere. Got to be right there. All right, let's see what you've got over here. So there's secret rooms behind the walls. You're actually additions. Okay, that makes sense why I couldn't do some of the other things. Oh, man, look at this garbage pile. Okay, well, I'm just going to look in the book. <laughs> I'm just going to look in the book. So then it's Ender I.O. Oh, what is best for progression? So this will allow me, this will allow me to get a pick a choice that will get me break any block void after two uses void after two uses now hold on a second can i oh you're borosilicate glass oh i cannot break you so i could probably oh this is escape oh okay so i can't i can only break the windows so we have to pick a direction on which way we want to go and that'll tell us which mods we want to look at uh i gotta think about this for a second all right, so, you know, I have thought about this for a really long time. Now, I'm assuming, I'm making the assumption here, let me go back here, that we're going to get into each one of these mods and that it's not, it's not an and, or it's not an or, like it's, it's, we're going to get another one of these when we get done with one of these mods. That's what I'm assuming, because here's the, here's what I'm thinking. So uh, let's get to the book here. Why does it keep going to that page? So right here, I know how to do tons and tons and tons of stuff with thermal, 
right? Like this gear working die blows open the whole mod for me and I can make unlimited power with it. I'm almost sure of it and it'll be really nice. And thermal is going to take care of a lot of my problems. And my current problem is grinding stuff down. Like I hate using this thing and I know how to make a ton of power with thermal. Uh, let's see. We could go to Batania and Batania. So Batania, I'd have to do some manual stuff, but I can make unlimited ore with Batania. I know how to do that. And you know, it's got some really good stuff in the mod. Like we're going to need Batania. Uh, actually additions again, I know how to make unlimited stuff with that. I, I absolutely do. It's not that hard, but, uh, it doesn't have a lot of power gen. I really don't want canola. And Ender IO, I know how to make a lot of stuff with Ender IO, but I don't have I don't have a lot of great power gen in Ender IO except for like zombie generators because I can't use solar and get outside. So I think we're gonna go with thermal. I think thermal is the winner. I don't feel good about it. No, but you're Batania. And I really feel like I should be doing Batania. I really do. But this is what I'm gonna choose. Yep, we're gonna nope, not that way. Where is oh is thermal the only one I haven't seen? Right? Are you back over here? Let's just look here. Are you? Oh, yeah, that's thermal. Okay. We're just going to commit to it because it solves my problems today. So let's go back here. Let's get our pick right back. And I think I'm going to go this way. So I got to get, oh, I got to get that thing off the wall. Which way will you choose? Oh, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about it at all, but it's done. Right? Ugh, there's one. And there's two. Oh, and I can see the bedrock that way. Okay. All right. So over here, right? Let's, uh, yeah, let's find a way down here. Get rid of that. There we go. And we made our choice. Uh, I think I'll do Batania next. Oh, what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's that? What's uh, a liver for in the black concrete? Like there's, um, should I, should I be flicking both levers? I was just waiting to see if something really bad happened. Like, there's a weird setup in here. Okay, got to see what these do later on. Just making sure I'm not, like, trapped or something. Okay, so we need this thing. And, dude, do I have my wrench on me? Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to take the compactor. Totally going to take that thing because I'm going to need it for other stuff. Nice. All right, let's see if I can make my life easier right away. Oh, you got to be on power. Well, you know what? Hold on. I made another coal generator just in case, right? So we can do this. We can get this dude a little bit of power. I can throw the gear working die. Uh, no, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a hardened kit. I'm going to need a hardened kit, man. I hope this isn't a mistake. I hope it's not a mistake. Okay. Phytogenic. What are you? I think you're, I don't know what we are. Oh, I need to make gears, a tin and a copper gear. Okay. All right. So let's get, uh, yeah, let's get this dude. And let's get the, uh, let's get the upgrade. Okay. Sorry. I'm just thinking here. So I need copper and tin. All right. So four of you guys and four of you guys, right? And was it just one each? Was it one each? Yeah, it was. Okay. So squish them on down. Oh, and I got myself a fancy little item frame. I'll have to think about uh, item frame. There we go. I have to think about what I'm going to do with that, man. I hope I get more picks. Cause if not, we've made a huge mistake, but I think thermal's the way for right now. And it looks like I got to do a lot of expansion and I really don't like having to climb up all this stuff to get into this thing. We'll have to do something about that too. And I got to clear out all this other stuff. All right. So you and you bing da ling, right? I got you guys give my experience. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're starting to open up a little bit because this is what I'm after right here, a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. And this is what I couldn't figure out how to make. I couldn't figure out how to make copper gears and tin gears. Okay. So let's see. I've already got one. All right. Well, let's just do this copper and tin, right? Uh, I'm going to need, let's make another one of those. And then I've got some glass in here because I'm going to need to make a machine frame. And I'm going to need my dude, Ron. All right. Let's make a machine frame because this is most important to me right here is being able to pulverize things. Your gold and two redstone. Okay. You and you, because that'll make, uh, that'll make things a lot better. And then, oh, a piston. Oh, we got to make a piston. Well, let's make a bunch of pistons. Uh, let's see some wood and I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need redstone. All right. Maybe we won't spend all of our iron on pistons. Uh, let's see. So you 16. Um, no, 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 no. Let's, let's not spend if we don't need. And then two flints. Okay. That's pretty easy. That is pretty easy. All right, right there, 
right? And grab this dude. Ah, oh, man, my life is so much better right there. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, for the moment, uh, for the moment, I'm just going to stick you there. Oh, I need some ducks. We need some flux ducks, right? Redstone, lead. Do I have lead? Do I have lead at all? Right? Like, I got these things, but I don't have any. Yeah, I haven't processed any down. All right. Well, then, new plan. New plan. Let's let this dude do our processing for us. Right? And we'll get you in there. And this is... I just didn't want to grind these things by hand. And I got a little bit of stuff. I got Invar. Oh, we can make upgrade kits. Right? Come on, lead. Man, you're slow. And you're doing okay, but I'm totally going to replace you. Hopefully, we can get tree power. Right? Hopefully, we can do that. All right. So, we got to get more... No, I got redstone. I got glass. I just need flux ducts. All right. So, then, we're going to have to compress down. We're going to need another machine frame. And uh, let's look at furnace, right? A redstone furnace. So I'm going to need two more copper gears. Okay, so we're going to need eight of these guys, right? That should be easy enough. Right there. Oh, man. Automation. Oh, so good. And okay, let's make ourselves a flux duct and get this going on. There we go. Six flux ducts. Nice. And you should be still working on stuff. Uh, take you out. Okay. And boop. And then, you know, I'm going to, we'll fix all this stuff up later, right? Like, no, nobody's in their full-time spot. So you and you, and then we'll make a redstone furnace. So that's going to be bricks. Oh, and I saw that item scroller is in here. Oh, I love item scrolling. It's been gone for so long, or I haven't seen it in enough packs that I'm not used to scrolling items. And that is one of my favorite mechanics. All right, so redstone furnace. I am super stoked for this stuff. So... I need the machine frame, so you guys, uh, and I got all of that. Okay, let's see what I'm missing here. Let's see, I'm just too excited for machine frame. Oh, two more glass. Oh, no! Do I need, yeah, we need more glass. Okay, so you can come out, and you can go in, and that'll give me a little bit, and I guess you can continue pulverizing away, because why not? Right? Come on, dude, make me glass. This is why I want this stuff so badly. And then I can import and output here with a couple of chests. Uh, you know, or we could do a couple of crates. But for right now, for right now, I'm just going to do chests just because I can. Right? And they're really quick and fast here. So right there. Right? One, two. And then I can do this kind of stuff. So let's get you and you. And then you can be... Uh, let's see. You can be... You're going to be... Pull in on the right, auto input, and then send everybody out. Ooh, and I got free silver. Ooh, I got free silver. Okay, right here. So let's get let's get this. Right, that's done. And I'm going to need one of those. And is that everybody? Ah, yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, so next order of business is probably going to be power. Right, input and output. Uh, auto output. Yeah, so that should totally work. That should be completely automated. And we'll throw that in there. Might as well let that go down. And I'm going to need to make power storage. Ah, oh, man, I hope I have chosen right. So, all right, let's take a look here. So I made those. I got faster and an upgrade kit. Uh, I'm going to hold on to these for just a second. Yeah, that's power. This is another upgrade kit. That's something else. All right, so while I'm doing that, let's back up because I did want to make a couple of things here. I want a weirding gadget. I want a weirding gadget. That was one of the things that was high on my priority list. And all I need for that is blaze powder, which is a blaze rod, which we should, we should be able to get from a blazing doll, right? A uh, blazing doll right here. So nether wart, redstone, and blaze powder. Oh, no, no, I have this. I have this. Well, hold on a second. Can I get... Uh, wait, I've already got... I don't even have to make the doll. I've already got this there somewhere, don't I? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, I was thinking I was going to have to kill the mob, and I don't. Right? Good use of an ender pearl. Yeah, let's get the weirding gadget, because I don't have any armor or anything. So that's four gold blocks. Tell me I don't have the gold for it. I don't have the gold for it. Okay. I can see what's going to be really high on our list of things to do, because that's going to be... 10, 11, yeah, I don't have it. Ah, all right. Well, I know what else I want, though. I want, ooh, we probably did part of this. Oh, a hardened flux duct. Oh, uh, we can do that. Hold on. 
Hardened, right? I can do hardened flux ducts. Uh, three and yeah, right there. Ding, ding, ding. Got it. Cool. All right, that's not what I wanted to do, but I wanted to make myself a tank. I wanted these tanks from Ender IO, right? So I just need I just need bars, and I've got bars. So right there, nice fluid tank because the push pull feature solves a lot of problems for me, right? Like I could take this off right now. And this is certainly not the final setup. Hey, dude, give me that. Oh, I'm too full. I'm too full. All right. Some of you dudes have to go in here. All right. So then I could do something like this. Thank you. Right. And then we can get our push pull. Ah, right. Pull and push. Ah, there we go. Okay. So that will make a lot more water. Right. And I'll check that off. Get that. That gives me two buckets. Okay. So more power. Uh, item ducks, okay. The hopping bonsai, you know, hold on, we've got this, don't we? Did I do the hopping bonsai? I feel like I did. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No, I didn't. I did not. Ooh, naughty, naughty. All right, that'll be the last thing we do then. Let's get the hopping bonsai because we got this now. Hopping bonsai. I'm going to need a hopper. I'm going to need a block of platinum. And we should have... Do I have a hopper? I do not have a hopper. Oh, man. We got to clean out here a little bit. Uh, you can go in there. You can go in there. All right. So I'm going to need a hopper. So let's get a chest. Right? And let's get... What do I have? Do I have... Uh, we got the iron. We got the iron. Let's just get that. So hopper. Thank you. And then block of platinum. I'm pretty sure we got the platinum. So nine of you dudes, thank you. Throw you up here and that, oh, and that done. And then it was like emerald nuggets or something, right? Yeah, emerald nuggets. And we got those. So four of those dudes, cool emerald nuggets. And there we go, hopping bonsai. Nice. So then, then I think I'm going to steal one of these drawers, right? And um, yeah, I guess it'll go upstairs because I don't need as many of them now. I don't need as many of them because I've got the, uh, I got this. All right, so drawer and bonsai and dirt, right? And tree, nice. And uh, it's okay for speed, like could be faster. So we might want to make some more. Although if I can chunk load this, if I can get the gold, I'm going to make a weirding gadget. So I think I'm going to call it there for today. I think I got what I need done. Now I've got to clear out all of this diorite and move the base around. So I'm 47 Mark 4 and this was Breakout. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button and then I will see you in the next episode.